Hi everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I have a new video for you today. I want to show you how to make these cute little treat holders. I had a special request on my Facebook group from Stephanie. So Stephanie, thank you for the video request. I do appreciate it. If you guys have ideas, please let me know because I sometimes can't think of what I should make a video of. So any help you guys can give me would be great. These are straight from the new holiday catalog. If you have it, it's on page 46. And Stephanie saw these and loved these and said, can you show us how to make those? So you're not gonna believe how totally simple it is to make these, super easy and um, a really great uh, concept if you need to make a bunch. All right, so first let me show you the products that we're using. The stamp set is called Sweet Hauntings and it coordinates, these three coordinate with a note tag punch. And then we're using the Happy Hauntings designer series paper. And I love this paper because it is your traditional orange and black Halloween colors. So here are all of one side. You can see mostly small patterns, which I like um, for smaller projects. And then on the other side, we have some more, just a tangerine, let's see, a tangelo twist and uh, black and vanilla. It's not white, it's vanilla. So remember, you need to use vanilla cardstock with these. The little ghost, so cute, and the stripes, and the polka dots. Those are my three favorites. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to make this is a strip of the paper. Let me move everything out of the way. Two inches by eight and a half inches. Okay, now all these measurements are going to be on my blog, so make sure you check it out if you need me to repeat it. It'll be there forever. You're going to score it at half an inch, and at four inches, and at five inches. Now one thing I want to caution you about is this print. Um, some of the prints, it doesn't matter if it is up or down, like this one, it wouldn't matter. There's no upside down or wrong side or whatever, but this one, you know, jack-o'-lanterns could be upside down or your... Um, tombstones could be upside down and um, but I'm going to show you in a second why that it's important so decide which one you want to be the front I like the jack-o'-lanterns the best and I'm going to fold those two middle score lines burnish them well so that this little thing will stand up and then you're going to take this smaller half inch and you're going to fold it to the front now this pattern, this um, part is going to be upside down, but it's such a small sliver, I didn't think it would matter. All right, so that is your basic construction. That's it. Easy, right? All right, so what goes inside of it? Um, I couldn't figure out exactly. I, I actually did um, ask concept artists uh, at Stampin' Up! how to make these. I wanted to make them exactly how they did, and this is how uh, they responded to me. So I was started to think, you know, what is this size? What goes in here? I don't have a cello bag that would fit two inches across. So what I did is I took my four by six cello bag and I cut it down the center. So I actually had two. And then I just took my tear and tape and I ran it down that long side and this is how I make uh, shaker cards too sometimes. And then I just seal it right there. And now, now you have a, a bag that is two inches wide. All right, so you put your goodies in there and you're gonna just trim it off at about, you know, you, I, I just literally put it here and um, decided how much I needed to fill it. And then I folded this over and put a piece of tape and that holds it closed. Now I am sure there's a lot of prepackaged candy that would fill, fit the bill perfectly, but it's August and I can't find a Halloween candy yet. So um, look for that when you are ready to make these treats. All right, so I'm just going to actually, you know, I did put a little bit of adhesive in here to hold on to this guy just in case. I don't want him to slip out. But I'm also going to catch it in the staple, right like this with my handheld stapler. And there it is right so easy I mean you could whip these out in no time all right so one of my current favorite products right now is this very vanilla thick baker's twine I'm really using it a lot I like it I, I like big I like twine I like any kind of twine but this thick baker's twine is a whole different look from the smaller and I I tend to double up my skinny baker's twine to make it um, even more thick so I like to play with this too 
All right, so get your bow on there, get it all straightened out. And then you're going to get your stamp. I'm gonna use the Death by Chocolate and my Memento Black. And remember, you need very vanilla cardstock. It's not white, it's vanilla. And stamp this on a strip of very vanilla. And you're gonna punch it out with a note tag punch. So easy, even my little ones could do it for me. All right, then I took the Spiderweb Doily and I cut it into a fourth. Where did I put it? All right, so then I took the spiderweb doily and I cut it in half and then in half again. So I can get four of these quarter doilies out of one doily. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive like that on the back and a Stampin' Dimensional and I'm just gonna slide it right there under where that bow is. And there you have it. So simple. Stephanie, thank you for the idea. I love these. Now I was thinking how could I make these for different sizes of cello bags that I have. And so for the four by six cello bag without cutting it down, I filled it halfway and just folded it over and taped it down. I made another one. So that might be another uh, solution or another treat that you could make uh, without having to cut down those cello bags. And the measurements on this, the paper was three by seven and a half and I scored it at one half, three and a half and four and a half. So just remember to measure whatever bag you have, you need it twice this way and a one inch bottom and a half inch to flip over. All right, and then, then you could make these for any size treat or bag that you have. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions and remember to check out my blog for all the details. Thanks, bye-bye.